They say you cannot see the forest for the trees. So, so I comb my hair in front of my eyes, and, and now, I, now I can't see the trees. So now I can see the forest. It's spelled like Daryl, but it's pronounced... Victoria, Victoria, everybody. This is my theme song. I hope you like it. And it's not like Arnold said, to hell with you. Hey, goslings. Are you ready for queer karaoke at the 116? See you there. Here, take my Kleenex. Wipe that lipstick away. Show me your face. Clean as the morning. Sorry, I missed Pride. I decided to stop and film fish. They're probably spawning or something. This is a nice flat rock base. Bye, hello, goslings. Happy Pride Day. Oh, I'm hoping to win an Oscar today. But did you know, Oscar has been transitioned to a Debbie. Ha, huh, I'm gonna win a Debbie. Hello goslings, it's our pre-pride prep. I'm here with Robin. It's her first pride and my second. So, happy pride. All right, everybody say fuzzy pickles. Say cheese! Look at me, you may think you see who I really am, but you'll never know me every day. It's as if I play a part. Now I see if I wear a mask, I can fool the world, but I cannot.
As you can see, the parade just keeps going. We just keep walking. Uh oh. Hold on.
The kids, the Gucci, they are why most of us and the kids need to make the efforts that we do to make the ball happen. It's because we want it better for the whole next generation and they prove they want it better for themselves too. Before I let you guys enjoy this beautiful day and event, I want to introduce you to someone important to me. This person is my mentor in many ways and my best friend. They were the first person to accept my identity as a woman and the first person to compliment me every opportunity I have. This is the person I want to be more like when I grow up. Everybody, please give some love to my daughter, Aubrey. Let's acknowledge who she is. For any of you that don't know, Aubrey raised the flag in the LLS this month to celebrate the uh, month, and I couldn't be more proud of her. Aubrey teaches me that you don't need to be very big to make a big difference. She loved me unconditionally despite everything and held me many moments I finally made great. Now I, speak, now I speak up and speak of love and acceptance in front of hundreds of people, all because one human person loved me without a doubt. You never know how your love will affect the world. Go out today and love and make it part of your year and not just part of this month. Thank you. Thank you, Lexi. Thank you, Aubrey. That was wonderful. Thank you. Now I'm going to pass the mic over for a short speech from Councilman Chris Millett. Thank you, everybody. And I know you didn't come here to hear speeches from, uh, from politicians today, but what a fabulous day. And thanks so much to Lexi and Aubrey. Just lovely people, and we're just so happy to have you along and give you a ride on the back of our city truck. I'm here on behalf of Mayor Ellis and uh, our members of council. We have today marching and uh, actually riding along and marching uh, councillors uh, Catherine Brown, Sean Kelly, Barbara Enright Miller, and myself on behalf of Mayor Ellis. Um, on behalf of City Council, it's a great pleasure I address you all today as we celebrate the Bay of Quinty Pride. We're proud to support this important event which promotes inclusivity, diversity and acceptance within our community. The Bay of Quinty Pride Festival is a celebration of the 2S LGBTQI plus community and its allies and is an opportunity for us to come together as a community to show our support for one another and to celebrate the progress that has been made towards achieving equality and acceptance. We want to commend organizers of this event for their hard work and dedication in putting together such a wonderful celebration that I can't, and I've seen every one of these for the past 10, 11 years, I cannot remember one as big and as exuberant. And if there was ever a time, if there was ever a time with some of the nonsense that we're all seeing out there that's rising up, some of the ugly pushback against just letting people live. Today is the day that we really showed this community cares. So on behalf of Mayor and Council, I want to assure you, Belleville is a city that welcomes and celebrates diversity. We are committed to creating a community where everyone feels safe valued and respected regardless of their sexual orientation, gender identity, or any other characteristic of their person. So let's all come together as a community to celebrate Bay of Quinty Pride and to reaffirm our commitment to creating a city that is welcoming and inclusive for all. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. Okay, I'll let you guys get back to your festivities. And I'll make an announcement, as I said, about 5 to 2. Okay, special guest coming up, 2 o'clock. Thank you. Thank you so much. One more last cheese. I think that was it. You know what, I'm going to pass it on.